Hey, this is the launch of my YouTube channel. Been wanting to do this since YouTube became a thing, but because I became an engineer, went to school, at the best school ever, obviously, University of Utah. Um, never had a chance to get around to it. My best friend Cody Reader made an awesome YouTube channel with Cody's Lab. He's a genius scientist and I was dumb. And I went and graduated from college instead and got a job in the corporate world. And unfortunately, I suffered a really bad concussion because I forgot my hard hat. And I stood up under a pipe like a dork. So now, I'm uh, forced retired temporarily while I recover from it. And I have too much creativity. I have too much creative energy. So I'm going to start a YouTube channel talking about the world as I see it as a young engineer. My title is Process Engineer. It is an amalgamation of my entire life experience and how I view the world as a mechanical engineer who wanted to solve climate change. It's been uh, 10 years in the making and I'm, I'm freaking excited to be here. It's going to be fun. Um, Cody and I met up last two weeks ago and we talked about one of our good friends, Casey Levitt, really young guy. Unfortunately, passed away during a seizure, and um, I didn't get a chance to go to his funeral, and neither did Cody. So, this YouTube channel is going to be partly dedicated to the memory of him. He was a great kid. I went to church with him. I uh, used to uh, pick him up on the side of the road and drive him home with my super sweet minivan. He's like four years younger than me. And uh, it was a good time growing up out in the... Great Basin Desert, where it was a desert, freaking cold, freaking hot, no water. And now I moved somewhere else where it's getting hit by climate change. It's making it freaking cold, freaking hot. And uh, luckily it's wet here. It's not like the desert, but in a thousand years it might be. And that's scary because I love it. So I uh, Some more background. I started working when I was 12 years old. It's a good old American dream setting tile for a small business my father owned and uh i've been working with him on and off for the last almost 20 years pretty cool pretty lucky american dream growing up working class be able to make it all the way to lower middle class impressive totally impressive and uh i have this i love stem it's missing an a it's pretty obvious it should be steam because i don't know how you can look at engineering and not see art because when I look at engineering, I see Native Americans, I see basket weaving, I see pottery, and then I see Eastern traditions. I see steel, which looks like to me, samurai. So you take the all those things and to be an engineer, you gotta be like Tesla. You gotta love what you're doing and be willing to die poor in order to save people's lives, to make the world a better place, to keep it safe. I'm really excited to do this and I'm gonna do my best to not edit things and just show full authenticity. If I offend somebody, I'll donate $1 per video. I'm not an idiot, it's not $1 per comment. $1 per video that I post, I will donate to charity as I see fit. I'll do it at the end of the year so my taxes are simple. Um, I'm gonna offend a lot of vegans because I'm a vegan and you know what? Vegans are the punching bag of the internet. They're so pure and wholesome they forget to wear their hard hat and they get injured on a job site and now I can't work. And now I'm not even vegan. I have to eat freaking fish and bugs, which is pretty nice. I do miss eating fish and bugs. But um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be real. It's going to be beautiful. So thank you, Uncle Mark. Thank you, Safety Steve, for giving me this hard hat. I'm lucky to have it. I'm going to keep my... My th I'm gonna be like a think engineer from Bob's Burgers. Think my keep keep my thinking cap on. This hard hat really sucks. You can't even tighten it. <laughs> it's freaking old too. I've had it since I was 15. I just forgot where I left it until I was at my grandparents' house, and I saw it was there, and I was like, "Ah, oh, crap! I should have brought that on that job site, or I got hurt." But anyway, I normally work as a consultant, and because I can't do screen time very well. I can't consult for a while, and that sucks because uh, that's all my money. But I'll do my best. I have some savings. It's no big deal. If Cody Reader can do it and he lives on Mars, on Earth, I can do it. Living in a house. 
I don't have to live out here. This this is my shed. I don't live in here. I live out there. But I'll show you that when you deserve it. If I get enough, whatever, pennies from YouTube. So without further ado, this is day one, February 5th, 2022, of when I chose to pursue my dream of making money by being an idiot online. Peace.